our boy, friend of the show, Liam McEnany, was a guest yeah. with Harrison <laughs> Young. Christian Blatt's the most recent episode up there. And actually, if you check out Who Are These Broadcasters from this week, which, of course, is on the Who Are These Podcasts YouTube channel under live videos. You can also find the podcast wherever you get podcasts. Christian Blatt was a guest, and he had Eric Zane break down what he saw from the episode. And Eric Zane wasn't familiar with, with Harrison, so that was fun. <laughs> but Liam McEnany was a guest with Harrison Young, and I, I watched this whole episode. Liam did a fantastic job because he did what I like to do, which is switch the interview around and ask Harrison the questions. Because Liam's sitting there going, I'm not interested, but this guy is. <laughs> so I'm going to ask him a bunch of questions. And he got to the bottom of living room baseball. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am so excited about this because we've had a lot of questions. As you guys know, he has played thousands of seasons in his living room of this baseball game that he plays. And he's won over 100 championships. We don't really know how it works. So William had a lot of questions, and uh, it starts with modest Harrison Young, <laughs> which you have to appreciate. You play a game called Living Room Baseball, That's but true. You didn't, you've been winning championships. You've won 71 championships. I won 121. 121 championships. So now first I'm 90th of, year, though. Wow. So, I mean, uh, is there so, like an That's a, a very low percentage. So what do you want to know about the game? It's a six-game series I play every day. To win a championship, I got to win all six games. So I've done that 121 times in 19 years. That's pretty. That's very low. That's like not even. That's like a little less than one third of a year out of out of 19 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you guys follow that? <laughs> what a way to put it. <laughs> third of a year. So he plays it every once a day. Then is what he's saying. There's one game a day. Well, six games. Well, he has to play six games for a series. So one series a day, I guess, is the point. Mm -hmm. So he's won 121 championships. Over 19 years. <laughs> okay. He's doing great. It rarely the, happens. The craziest thing about his show is that it's like he's coming to us from 1968. <laughs> yes. I what the fuck is going on? I, even down to the colors that he chooses to wear. Right. Absolutely. It's very 70s. Like, wow. Nobody, <laughs> where do you even find a coat like Those that? Those were the three colors in 1973. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he bought that coat from Stuttering John while he was working at the Salvation Army. Because yeah. I don't know where else you would find that style. Where did he buy that skin? All right, so let's find out, guys. He's going to explain how this game works. This is the thing that we all wanted to know about uh, living room baseball. I told him I take a, I take a ball, which, which is a cat toy. I throw it against the wall. I uh -huh. take a bat, which is an old uh, broken off uh, ice scraper with the edge gone. And okay. You to do the game. You got the only way you can score is to hit home runs, and the only is. Two ways you can hit home runs. You can hit one over, over the five place. That's the area called the home run area. Or you uh, can hit inside the park man slam where I run, where I can run four, four bases before the ball stops moving and half the ball has to be in the middle of the room <laughs> in the area called the hit zone. I want to see that part. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> yes. uh, quick update before I address what we just heard. Uh, Christian Blatt says that Liam recorded this in January, but Harrison forgot to record his underwriters. So... When Christian was on, he reminded Harrison to record that and put it out. So he put it out the same day as Christian. So this is brand new for all of us that we're seeing this. Okay. No wonder it escaped me for all of this time. <laughs> all right. So what he just explained was he throws the ball against the wall. It bounces back. He hits the ball. With the broken the cat, ice the scraper. Cat, yeah. He hits yeah. the cat toy with the broken ice scraper. <laughs> yeah. And if it goes above the fireplace, it's a home run. That's a run. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, he has to start running around the bases <laughs> yeah. in his living room and if he gets back home and the ball's still rolling, but it's also in the field of play, <laughs> then that's a what he called a in the park grand slam. Well, yeah. How do you yeah. do it? <laughs> well, a grand slam refers to having the bases loaded. It's yeah. not it's in the park home run, but whatever. I'm not going to get into semantics. I mean, it's his game. It bounces off it. the frame picture of his nephew. It's a triple word score. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you not getting? <laughs> I understand. Okay. Checkmate. <laughs> All right. So he's running around his living room. <laughs> Which is fascinating. Th that's the part. I remember being a little kid and just trying to fill time yeah. and, and figure <laughs> shit out. And I would make up baseball games and stuff like that. Like now. <laughs> but I, I, I wouldn't be running around my living room even as a child. <laughs> it's crazy. 
So let's find out more of the rules and see. Listen closely because I want to make sure you guys are following this because I have a few follow questions. <laughs> if I got a hit that's less than a home run, then that means on the following bat, I got a hit a home run or I'm going to give up. It's not I give up a run based on that, whatever the number of the hit was. So it's like, right. it's almost like a conversion thing, like in football, you know, like if you, if I have to, if I, I mean, if I make outs, I mean, to win every game, if I just make contact outs and get home runs, I'll win. But that, it doesn't work like that. You, I make hits that are less than home runs, and then I have to win the game. I lose the game. Leo. And that's usually what happens. I usually finish five and one. And I love that. Of like course. I'm going to finish six and all and win a championship, and I, and I have thousands of five and ones. He has thousands of five and ones. Okay. <laughs> If so. I strike out, I got to stick a thumbtack in my scrotum. <laughs> so that's really, I really don't want that to happen. <laughs> yeah. So he did use the word out, but I'm trying to figure out how this works. So if he gets a hit, not a home run, he's got to hit a home run with the next at bat, or else the other team gets the run. <laughs> Or does that count as an owl? It's so stupid. Does that make Wait, sense? Weren't there once cats involved with this? Yeah, we don't have cats anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that was the other team back in the day. <laughs> that was the outfield. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys following this? How no. this works? no, not at no. all. All right. But I like how Liam is. <laughs> yeah. So, after a short tangent, I appreciate Liam gets him back on track. All right, let's get back to this uh, living room baseball stuff. So when you play living room baseball and you win championships, do you hang banners around the living room or how do you no, sell I have, them? I have score sheets in my closet. I actually have 15 years worth of them in my closet. I started the game back on, on um, Wednesday, February 9th of 2005 at my old address. Okay. For the first four years, I didn't keep score, keep score of the games. It wasn't until January 26th of 2009, which is now just about 15 years ago, that I decided, hey, why don't I, write, why don't I keep the score on paper? And now I got a closet full of 15 years worth of those sports sheets. And I got enough room for like 30 more years if I play long enough. Show off. I like his optimism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if I move the corpse of my dead mother out of the way, I can fit a lot more <laughs> score sheets in there. <laughs> Unreal. The other outfield back in the day. Yeah. I like the idea that there'd be banners posted. I think he's really missing an opportunity there. I yeah. think he should have been like, oh, Liam, that's a good idea. Should be pennants everywhere. Right. Yeah. Like I can't believe I won that championship back in two September 2012. Yeah. That was a hard fought. I remember that one. That was tough. All right. The so, league almost didn't give it to me, but I convinced myself right. to let me have it. So he was on another show, and they were talking about this baseball game. And this other show wanted to come and film him playing it, which yes. I do too. Absolutely. Yes. And he explains what happened with that. And I was actually doing one of my other stations about the game, you know, about my personal life, and I had no problem talking about the game. And they said, why don't we come over and we'll, we'll, we'll videotape you playing? And I go, okay. And I got, I go, I play shirtless doll, and they said, well, 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 and then, you know, and then I think that kind of discouraged them. <laughs> that encourages me. Why not put a shirt on with the film crew's there? Well, also pantless, but shirtless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, right, yeah. He doesn't really specify what's going with the pants situation. <laughs> if there's only one team, you don't have to be shirts for skin. Right. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, you, you play shirtless when you're by yourself, but if the camera crew comes in, I bet this guy doesn't own a t-shirt. Yeah, right. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised... If Harrison Young's never put he a just quickly on. puts a tie on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he draws number 69 on his chest with a <laughs> lipstick. USA says uh, he has to maintain league regulations, Carol. All right, fair enough. I don't, yeah, you don't want to have to like put an asterisk. Oh, this was the day I wore a t shirt, just like, you know, Barry Bonds juicing. Like, well, is 73 really the number? I don't know. No one really thinks it is. Okay. So this is uh, some fun where we talk about, but is it just like baseball? Because I'm starting to feel like maybe it's not. The difference is in real baseball, it's diamond shaped. In my game, it's rectangular. Okay. If you saw the room, you saw it, you see that. You saw the shape of that room. Okay. I did see the shape of the room. I mean, uh, look, a diamond is just a, a square turned on its side, right? That's so like... Yeah. So it's basically the same. It's it's very similar to real baseball or cricket or anything where you, or stick ball, anything where you hit a ball and run. I love that. He's like, well, you realize like a diamond is just a square. So it's not <laughs> that he's like, yeah, that's a good point. You know what? Actually, it's just like baseball. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Are, does he play nine innings? I'm very curious about if there's outs, like how does a game end? 
What determines that? He didn't get into that. So you got his contact. Just I know. Him. I got to text him. <laughs> he doesn't return texts. He just likes phone calls. But anyway, Liam, you did a great job. I had a few other questions, unfortunately. But one of the things that Harrison Young can do, his stupid human trick, and he likes to show off, he remembers exact dates and the day of the week. He's got one of those superpowers. Mm. Fall I, actually applied, I actually applied. To, I actually, when I went to college in the 80s, I actually applied at Bristol in, uh, on on Tuesday, July 16th, or Monday, July 15th of 1985, but I didn't end up picking the school. So I've seen this on 60 Minutes before where they show these people who can memorize every day of their lives. Mary Lou Henner. Yeah, right, exactly. And she was a part of that mm-hmm. special I saw in 60 Minutes. Like, well, you know, when did you get your braces taken off? Oh, well, it was February 24th, which was a Friday in 1972. What a waste of a fucking superpower that is. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't imagine that ever coming in handy. For any scenario in your life where you would need to know what the day of the week was and the date that something happened, it's worthless. And who can check up on that shit? Well, people do. Oh. I think 60 Minutes did. I think they made <laughs> Well, sure. okay. Besides 60 Minutes, I'm like, <laughs> but you could get away with that for a while. <laughs> yeah. Who, there's someone else in the Dabbleverse who can do that. I, I want to say Ray DeVito. <laughs> I don't think it's that. <laughs> Ray Man. But yeah, there's, there's someone else who I saw recently who was like showing off that they can figure out. Anyway. <laughs> Not the point. The point is, today is the day of shout-outs, everyone. As you know, aside from Drew Carey on The Price is Right, <laughs> the other guy who loves shout-outs uh-huh. is uh, our boy Harrison Young. He always leaves five minutes at the end for shout-outs, and Liam takes full advantage. Uh, shout-out to Christian Blatt, who uh, wants to be a guest on this show. My uh, show, right? Your show? Oh, yeah, no. I have no show. The you show have a show. Doing. I have a show. Okay. I couldn't do this. I, no. I literally could not do this. Um, shout out to Carl. Yes! Carl uh, Hamburger. Carl Hamburger introduced me to this. I actually interviewed him a year ago today. Wow. Okay, so I'm in rarefied oh, you know, air. Actually, was here. Happy yeah, anniversary, Carl. Was, hang on. It was a year ago tomorrow I interviewed him. It was January 4th, 2023. Uh-huh. And uh, uh-huh. shout out to you know shout out to Harrison Young. <laughs> I like the Paco vibe at the end. Yeah, and uh, shout out to Harrison Young, that fool. Yeah, I feel like we need another shout out yeah. to you. <laughs> so I'm very excited that I made the list of shout outs. I'm excited for Christian Blatt for getting to be on Harrison Young's show. Who would have thought that WATP and Jason Guest would still be on Harrison Young's show even? A year plus out from the initial interview. That is very exciting. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-P.